Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. And, in t you know, in the show, basically, it's where we cover a lot of hot, you know, um, sports debates, a lot of, you know, hot topics and news. And also, we just give a fresh take on sports and how we see it. So that's definitely what we're going to be covering in the show. And that's pretty much what the show is all about. And in today's episode, the question is simple. Is Jimmy Butler just as good a leader as the Wayne Wade, um, as the Wayne Wade is for the Miami Heat? And that's what I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if this is your first time to the channel. And make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, we're um, we're also on, um, our, you can check out the Dreamers Pro Podcast on Spotify. That's going to be linked in the description below. And we're also thinking of launching a premium program. So please, can you guys go ahead and leave a vote on that? We're going to link that in the description below. Any type of feedback you have will be greatly appreciated. So please make sure you go down there. And just leave a vote and leave a comment, whatever you guys think. We'll really appreciate that. And now let's just get straight back into the content. So we're going to be talking about the Eastern Conference uh, Finals. Okay. And it didn't go the way I expected it to. I actually had the Milwaukee Bucks in there, but that didn't go, uh, you know, as expected. But today I want to come at, I want to come at this thing from a different perspective because, you know, the, 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 the Miami Heat are going to be playing against the Boston Celtics. But I want to just come at this in a different angle. I think as the series progresses, I can we can do different um, different takes and come at this series from different angles. But I just want to come at it uh, from a leadership standpoint and just really um, focus on Jimmy Butler in this particular instance. In this particular instance, so um, you know, I think this is the first time the Miami Heat are making it to the Eastern Conference Finals in I believe over five years or so. Last time they did that was when they had the Heatles with LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh and these guys. And I think at that point, they made it to four straight finals, I believe. Was it four or three? I think they made it to four finals. They lost two. Yes, four straight finals. Excuse me. They lost the first one to Dallas. And I think they won the next one. Then they, no, I think they won the next two. Um, one against Dallas. Or I, I may be wrong. Or I, Anyway, I don't remember. But they, I know they made it to the finals. And I know they beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. They lost to Dallas. Yes, they beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. They lost to Dallas. Then they beat the San Antonio Spurs, and then they also lost to the San Antonio Spurs. So they went 50% uh, in the NBA Finals. So that was the last time they went to the NBA Finals. And since then, you know, the team has had, went through its ups and downs. And I think Dwayne Wade made it, finally made it back to that organization where they were able to finally retire his jersey. I mean, re retire him, and he had his send-off um, year when uh, he had his final year with the Miami Heat, which is fantastic. But since then... Um, they haven't really made any noise in the playoffs up until now, up until the acquisition of uh, Jimmy Butler. Now, um, if we're looking at the Dwayne Wade golden golden era, man, when he won that championship in 2000, I believe 2005, 2006. If you look at that roster, they had Derek Anderson, Shannon Anderson, Earl Barron, Michael Doliak, Udonis Haslam, who's still with the team, which is amazing. They had uh, Alonzo Mourning. They had Shaquille O'Neal. They had Gary Payton on that team. So they had a pretty solid team of, you know, veterans that they played with that year. And they were able to go on to win the NBA Finals. Now, if we look at Dwayne Wade's averages in the playoffs that season when he won the NBA championship, he averaged 28.4 points a game for the, for the entire playoffs. He got you one block a game. He got you two steals a game, 5.7 assists. 5.9 rebounds. The guy shot 80% from the free throw line, 37% from the three-point line, and he shot 49% from the field overall. And he played about 41 minutes a game, and he played uh, 23 games in that playoff run. And it was one of the greatest runs in NBA history to go ahead and beat, actually, the Dallas Mavericks, who ended up getting their revenge after uh, getting a revenge uh, against the uh, Dwayne Wade and the Miami Heat. Uh, that year, so it was a, it was an amazing year for the for the Miami Heat, and that's when Dwayne Wade really um, put his state put his sta put his staple on that team, and really put put himself in the record books for the Miami Heat. So that's what they were able to accomplish uh, with Dwayne Wade. But now, looking at the Miami Heat, this in this you know this second run that they're on, there was a different leader in Jimmy Butler, right? And Jimmy Butler has the same type of values in DNA that the Miami Heat have always boasted about. The Miami Heat have always been a very gritty team under the leadership, obviously, of Pat Riley, who was no nonsense, who was all about winning. I think he was shipped off Shaq when him and Shaq had a dispute. So he takes crap off of no one, even a even a top 10 player of all time in Shaquille O'Neal. He shipped them out of there. And Jimmy Butler saw that organization and said, this is the type of organization 
that I want to play for because Jimmy Butler is no nonsense. If you look at his background of how he even got into the NBA, he had a very tough road to get to the NBA. And once he got there, you know, he always played with a chip on his shoulder and he played with the Philadelphia 76ers with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, who he didn't think were very serious. He played with the Minnesota uh, Timberwolves with um, Carl Anthony Towns and these guys he didn't think they were very serious. And he finally just wanted to go and play with a team that was full of dogs. And if we look at the Miami Heat roster this season, it's led, of, it's led by Jimmy Butler. They have Tyler Hero, Ben, Bam Adebayo. They have Duncan Robinson, Goran Dragic. They have a, a former Finals MVP in Andre Godala. They have Kendrick Nunns. They have Jay Crowder, Myas Leonard, and Derek Jones Jr. And some others that obviously um, I you know I may, I may have missed. So they have a team. They have a well balanced team going into these playoffs, especially when they were playing against the Milwaukee Bucks. Some people said that that was a matchup problem for the Milwaukee Bucks, and they ended up beating them, I believe, in five games. And I think that surprised everyone. No one saw them beating the Milwaukee Bucks in, in five games. Maybe some people saw them winning that series in maybe six or seven games. But in five games, no one saw that. So the, the the Miami Heat showed that they have the mental toughness to go out there and just go after whoever's on the court and beat the number one seed with the, you know, I think with the reigning regular season MVP and Giannis Antetokounmpo, and they beat them. And now they're in the Eastern Conference Finals. And the question is moving forward is, can they beat... You know, can they go ahead and beat the Boston Celtics and make it into, you know, make it to the championship round? And I think that's going to come down to the leadership of Jimmy Butler because the Boston Celtics, yes, they're a very young team, but they're very talented. If you look at the players that they have in Jason Tatum, uh, Jalen Brown, they have um, Marcus Smart, they have Kemba Walker, they have a great young coach there. So they have a lot of things working in their favor, no doubt. But in this particular instance, I'm going to be looking at the, the leadership of Jimmy Butler. And I don't think he is going to crumble under the pressure, actually. I didn't have the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat in the West Eastern Conference Finals. But if I had to make a pick, I'm actually going to pick the Miami Heat. And the reason I'm going to pick the Miami Heat is, number one, because of the fabric, because of the coaching of Eric Spolstra, the championship pedigree that they have. Pat Riley being there as a consultant, always looming over the organization. So he's always a shoulder to lean on, but also because of the leadership of Jimmy Butler and it, and the type of approach that this team takes towards playing basketball. They're very gritty. They're really in your face. And I think that Jimmy Butler is going to prove that he's probably just as good as a leader as Dwayne Wade to lead this team. Now, I'm not saying that Jimmy Butler is the player that Dwayne Wade is, because if you look at his numbers, He's averaging 21.8 points a game, 22 points a game, shooting 40%, 47% from the field, 50% from the three-point line, which is very impressive, 84% from the free throw line, getting you 5.6 rebounds and 4.2 assists and two steals a game and 0.6 in blocks. He's getting his numbers. Obviously, Dwayne Wade is a much more talented player and a better basketball player, the third greatest shooting guard ever in the history of the NBA, in my opinion, behind uh, Michael Jordan, uh, Kobe Bryant, and then, of course, you have Jerry West up there as well. But he is good enough to get the job done. And I think playing against this young, this youthful Boston Celtics team, I think the Miami Heat may actually beat them out on the mental toughness game because you know they're going to play with a lot of physicality. Um, so I, I actually have them winning that series. I haven't thought about how many games yet. But I think that Jimmy Butler is going to show up in a major way, especially with his leadership this year in the playoffs. And I think that he's going to show that he's just he's a very good leader. Not that he's as great as Dwayne Wade, but I think he's going to show he's a good leader. So what I want to know from you guys is, do you agree with me? Do you think that Jimmy Butler is going to be a great leader? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day.